Hey guys, this is Lee Amos with Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast. Today I am in the office with my coworker Ariel Saslow. She's a park manager for the Conservation Foundation and we're having a little bit of fun drying pine cones. These are longleaf pines and we've collected the seeds down on Pine Island. We're going to harvest them from these cones and then sow them at a nursery and later outplant those trees back on Pine Island at our, our nature reserve, Pine Island Preserve of Atlashane Pass. So I just wanted to show you, this is kind of cool. Ariel, what have you done for a pine cone dryer? So I basically took all the pine cones that Lee collected and I laid them in rows in this bin and just kind of stacked them in a multi-layer way so that we could put this light on them just to get them to the correct temperature. They have to be at a specific temperature to open up properly. That and way we can collect the seeds. Is that, what, 70 to 120 degrees? Yeah, about 75 to 120. Yeah, so oven wouldn't work. But a light is a great heat source. If you're ever doing uh, germinating of seeds or you need to dry some pressed plants, things like that that need the kind of a warm temperature but not too hot, you can easily rig up a little heat box with a, um, with a lamp. So we're going to put these pine cones into the dryer and we'll leave this closed for 24 to 48 hours and all these pine cones then will have these closed pine cones start to open up like this. They'll open up fully and all the seeds will come out and they'll be ready to go to the nursery. And that's it for pine cone drying. Until next time, this is Lee Amos and Ariel Saslow. We're having fun at the office today. See you next time.